shield agents or Hydra or something. Hail Shield. It's Mr. Dark Phoenix here with uh, Batman and Spider-Man here. We're the only shield agents left that they haven't been able to comprehend. That's because we awesome. Let's fist bump or something. Mm. Anyway, guys, welcome back. It's season, t season two of Agents of Shield premiere tonight. And welcome back to TV Time with Mr. Dark Phoenix. Uh, just before we jump into the episode, I just want to say that this will have spoilers. So if you haven't seen the episode, I suggest you watch it first and then come back to me. Or if you just like to hear me talk about stuff, then we can all continue on from this point. But I'm going to give you guys a minute, so... Alright, spoilers ahead. Season 2 is back, and we have a lot to take care of. Because ever since the whole Captain America 2... Hydra's been here the whole time thing. We're still picking up the pieces. I suspect we're going to be picking up the pieces for another season or two? This is going to take a lot. I'm pretty sure we're going to be, we're going to be picking up the pieces at least until after Avengers 2. So that comes out, what, next year or so? Another two seasons, and I think we'll be uh, off of this Hydra train. But other than that, let's just jump into some of this, the main stuff that's been happening, a lot of the stuff that I liked. Um, Fitz is not the same, and I feel so bad for him. Like, I just... I legit had feels, and I could not, like... The two of them got kicked over in that thing because of the douchebag ward, and everything else has just been collapsing. He doesn't have the reflexes and his, te and his, and his senses like he used to, and it's really sad to watch him work. Because I'm like, oh god, he doesn't know. And I'm like, I feel so bad. But let's first talk about how May has been all up on that ass. But first, let's talk about Baby Sky. Baby Sky and a baby no more. Baby's all grown up. Full grown shield agent, shooting people really nice. Been trained by May. So we all know she's going to be something greater in the future. But Sky's grown up and I can't be happier for it. It's not like she was useless back when season one first happened. It's like she's been she's been picking up on stuff quick. That's the one thing I like about Sky. She's not that kind of heroine where it's like, oh no, I'm gonna like slowly learn how to do everything. Nah, she Linda Hamilton that shit. She was like, nah, I gotta be useful now because and let me just tell you guys why she's becoming so proficient and so useful because when the time comes she wants to beat Ward's ass. Don't let anyone ever tell you different. She is still scorned. And remember, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. She wants to beat his ass. So that is one reason why she is becoming so badass. She was already badass, but since war is like in the Loki cell down in the basement, she's just looking at him like, one day you gonna mess up and I'm gonna bust your face. And he's like, all right then. But... Further on to the episode, like I said, Ward is now their Loki. He's like down underneath in the cells and whatnot. Because I guess they couldn't figure out what to do with him and they couldn't kill him because he's too valuable. But all of that stuff aside, it's it's really good to see that. I mean, they're going to have to work with him in an episode or, you know, whenever because they have to. Because you can't keep Loki contained, you can't keep him contained. So he's going to come out of the woodwork and I can't wait for that. But. Can we talk about Xena, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., or Agent of whatever? Like, we got a badass Xena over here. And I just love how, at the end, when he was like, I want to tell you more about your clique, your father, I was like, damn, plot holes and shit. I don't like those. But they were going to go pick up some old-fashioned stuff because Agent Carter and all the rest of the people. Meanwhile, thank you for showing Dum Dum Dugan because... I have been wondering where he's been for quite some time. He can't not be dead. So, that's just that. Like, he's he's got to show up in the movie or universe or in S.H.I.E.L.D. more often. Because it's Dum Dum Duke and he's like one of my other favorite agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, we're going to jump on from that. But, you know, we go on to the general who hates S.H.I.E.L.D. And it's so annoying to see people like that because it's like they refuse to help. And, worse of it all, they just won't listen. But I really like how the interrogation worked, where like they got him to grip the seat to get his fingerprints, and they did a voice analysis so that Colson could talk as him when they were coming in. And it's like they haven't lost their touch with the technology, which is really good, because we're going to need a lot of that if we're going to go under the radar. But everything in there, you know, Absorbing Man, first of all, love that. Like that whole appearance, his appearance, I love that shit. So I'm just going to say that and 
just all that, but his he's gonna be so broken this season. Because not only does he have that weird golden block mystery thing, whatever it is, he also has a diamond, which means he's gonna be like male bitch Emma Frost or something, but they can't call him that, so it's gonna be like he's gonna be diamond back dragon or some shit. But I really like how they're showing now since everybody has to understand that season two of superhero shows they do a lot of cameos and stuff because now it's like season one was story and stuff. So now season two is gonna be full of action, all that. I like how at the end they got a Quinjet and they got an invisible plane so they can do everything without being noticed, which is really good because we need to get a lot of stuff out of the air. But the saddest part of this entire episode was knowing that she wasn't even there and he's just envisioning her, and I'm like. That made me so upset because I was like, okay, something bad is going to happen because, yeah, something terrible is about to happen. And lo and behold, he's imagining her being there in his insanity. And now I just feel even worse. Marvel made me feel twice, bad twice in one episode. And I don't appreciate that. But all in all, S.H.I.E.L.D. is back. I love the episode. I cannot wait for more. Lord knows what that thing was, but Xena's dead, and her friend's alive, but they deserved it, because things, thing, bad things will happen to you if you do not listen to the main character. If I can make that a lesson for today's episode for you guys, always listen to the main characters. Main cast recurring characters. You as a recurring character have to listen to the main characters or you will die. Or get your arm cut off and then die anyway. It's like what was the point of that entire hand cutting off montage if you would have just known we were gonna die anyway. So plus he was taking too long. You wanna cut off you wanna cut off a person's hand with precision? You need to call a governor from the Walking Dead comics. Not from the show because he's a bitch. And I don't appreciate that. But all in all, we got more stuff for S.H.I.E.L.D. We've got more things to uncover. We have to get more gadgets and more stuff, which means more hero appearances and more villain appearances, and I cannot wait to see what's going on. Another bad thing is that now Absorbing Man is just waltzing around with God knows whatever that thing was. So, looks like we're going to have to call up What's-His-Face from the first season to uh, combat with him, or else we're all going to die. But... I can't wait to see what else they come up with. I can't wait to see other cameos because that's one of watching the superhero shows is one of the things you look forward to, but at the same time I don't really need it. I just want to see how they can do with the show and just seeing Sky's heritage and all of that, I cannot wait for that. So I'm so glad you guys helped me tune in to Shield. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and uh, check out my social media links here. They'll be here and in the description with a bunch of other videos you guys should be watching. Uh, don't forget I make videos every day basically for all the new TV shows coming out. Gotham's on Monday. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will be on Tuesday. And then when they come out, uh, I don't know how I'll fit them in, but other shows will come out, then Arrow Wednesdays and all that stuff. But thank you guys so much. And just one last thing I wanted to mention is their biggest threat hasn't even come out of the woodwork yet. So remember my video? I'll leave a link to it in the bar here somewhere, like maybe like right here. But I'm still their clairvoyant from season one. They haven't been able to find me, so... Always remember that through good times and bad times, always remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. I'll catch you guys next week for some more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I've got some work to do.